murdered for money. A 16-year-old behind bars accused of killing an unarmed security guard who was doing his job. Police say the teen took his life for cash and credit cards. And tonight we're learning more about the detective work that led to his arrest and what the victim went through the night he was murdered. New at 5, Newsweek's Kelsey Thomas with new information on this investigation. Jim, he was paid to keep people safe, murdered right here at this apartment complex behind me. Inside his wallet, less than $20. It's extremely um, alarming that you have a 16-year-old, one who murders an innocent person who was sitting in a car doing a crossword puzzle over a few dollars. It was a violent robbery turned murder, a string of events that put 16-year-old Anthony Oakleberry in jail. Police say a teen who wanted money and took a life to get it. And there is nothing that indicates that he put up any resistance whatsoever. Lieutenant Ray Spencer heads up Metro Police's homicide unit. He says 75-year-old Hersey Addison, a father of three and grandfather, was shot and killed a week ago outside this apartment complex where he worked as a security guard. One of the things that we learned early on in the investigation was that the victim's wallet had been taken during the robbery that turned into a murder. Police tracked the stolen credit cards, leading them to Oakleberry and his friend, caught on surveillance tape at a convenience store using the stolen cards. Oakleberry was then arrested at Del Sol Academy, where he's a student. And he had the murder weapon in his waistband at that time. This is where Addison took his last breaths an apartment complex in the Southeast Valley where Angelique Reyes lives with her children. It's crazy that you just he's just here doing his job one night like a regular patrolling and something like that would happen is crazy. A grandfather lost, his family changed forever, a teenager in jail for murder. It is a very concerning crime. As for the suspect's friend, Lieutenant Spencer tells me he is not facing any charges related to the murder, only charges for using the victim's stolen credit cards. Reporting live this evening, Kelsey Thomas, News 3. Oh, such a shame all the way around. Kelsey, thank you for the update.